Yeah, I think if, if he'd waited uh, to November, he could say to the party, I did all I could in the time yeah. allowed. Instead, this defeat will be blamed on him personally. He's, 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 he's torching his personal brand and he's, he's setting fire he, to the entire Tory house by doing I, it. I agree with that, but he's, his reason is because he did think he was flushing out reform, but also he was terrified about the small boats mm. flooding across and the channel. And we're seeing records. Pouring across well, the channel. Well, it, because that's this week. Uh, exactly. As and he thought, if this goes on throughout the yeah. entire summer... Mm-hmm. He, he, and, he, and I think he didn't think he could keep the parliamentary party together for that long. More defections, and, he's, he, and there could have still have been another leadership challenge, which would have been insanity. You see, it would have exposed, right? You, you, put, you strap some poor souls on a plane to Rwanda and the board to keep on coming. It's shown that it was never going to work. Poor souls? You mean illegal immigrants? But Ireland, yeah, well, Ireland illegal, shows... Hang on. Ireland migrants has, and, migrants and uh, asylum seekers These are still souls. poor souls. No, they're not. You may, you may no, say not. they have no right no, to hear. No, yes, they no, are. No, no, no. no let's not dehumanise them. No, no, no. Language matters, Andrew Pillar. Oh, it does. No, a lot of them are economic migrants with their big flashy watches and their designer training. Oh, Poor oh souls. A lot let's, of them okay, are let's not let's not really escape Rwanda because that's a big deal and it's being thought about in the campaign. Off. Do you not think what happened here was you had a bunch of clever clogs people around Rishi Sunak, eight people maybe they worked out aren't we clever? There's a group think about this idea of this election and no one is in a room challenging them saying. Why on earth are you going early? Let's look at let's look at what could have happened had they not gone early. There's a NATO summit in mm. Washington, Washington coming up. Um, the PM would go in there soon. I can say I'm spending two and a half percent on of our GDP on defence. Why can't you now, do it? And he won't. Have yeah, there's a summit on Europe in Blenheim Palace this yeah. month. He yeah. would then re, re, re put U, the UK at the heart of the EU again after Brexit. He's got interest rate cuts maybe from Bank of England in June and September. He's got maybe an improving economy. All these levers he's put you can pull in government. He's not even using. He's just brushed it all but, away and but, gone to the country. But remember what Macmillan said. The most difficult part of government, events, my dear, events. Mm. And he was worried about events, events going against him, okay. not in his favour. Yeah, but, you know, if you go back in, in, in recent history, Jim Callaghan and Gordon Brown fairly delayed they did. on calling an election. We're going to find that Sunak fairly called it Too soon. four early. or five months earlier than he should. That's one.